Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and I'm back again with another Best Picture nominee watching project thingy. Then today I'm looking at the original version of A Star is Born from 1937, which was nominated for that year. So this is kind of an interesting one to talk about because it has three different versions as far as I could tell from looking up stuff. I think most people might be aware of the newest one and maybe the second one, which I don't remember what year those came out, but I know the newest one has Lady Gaga. But this is the original film and I have not watched any of the adaptations or versions or whatever prior to watching this one. So I, I didn't even know that it was a big thing still. I mean, if they're still making it now, making versions of now, like with Lady Gaga and stuff, and like, it's pretty big. It's about a woman who's kind of in this poor family, or they, they're not well off in the very least, and she really wants to become an actress. She wants to be in Hollywood, on the big picture screen, and I don't think they're, they're her parents is like aunt and uncle or something like that. They're really against that, or at least the aunt is. But the grandma saves up some money for her and and like, hey, go live out your dream. Just make sure you don't regret it or whatever because it's gonna get rough, but just go at it. And so main character goes off to Hollywood. I think she rents like an apartment, really cheap one, and she goes out and tries to make it big in the Hollywood scene. Unfortunately for her, she also learns that Hollywood is not as glitzy and as easy to get into as she may have thought it was. There's also some romance! <laughs> Normally I'd be kind of miffed about romance in these kind of things, but I think they actually do this well and they kind of use it to kind of explore more avenues of the um, career, I guess. So overall I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. There's been quite a few movies that I've watched for this project lately that have been boring, or really not for me at the very least. And so I was kind of, uh, we'll see about this one. But I loved it. It was, I, it was really, really entertaining. There was a lot of interesting twists and turns throughout the main character's um, journey, career, and they were exciting and engaging. And I actually felt feelings, which is, seems kind of weird, but I'm usually pretty flat when I, uh, with with emotional or supposedly emotional type scenes. So I was like, ah. So that's big for me. I don't cry easily, but I, I almost did at one particular point, or maybe a few, I don't know. <laughs> so it was very moving for me, which I was definitely not expecting. And I felt like a lot of the characters in here were really, really well acted too, which was great because it's about acting. <laughs> kind of really terrible if an acting movie had terrible actors and actresses. But I felt like they're all good. Um, I don't remember who the uh, main lady is, but from when I looked up she seemed to be a pretty prolific uh, actress. Uh, I think this was her first and only one in color or something like that. This one I what I briefly read. There was enough interest for me to look up what some of the actors and actresses were. Very rare as well for me. It was really well paced. There wasn't really any any unnecessary scenes. It wasn't it was like it was well paced. It wasn't too fast. It wasn't plodding along really slowly to increase the time or something like that. Oh yeah, and the grandma that helps out the main character, she's the best grandma. She's the kind that's very supportive and takes no bullshit. It's, she's, she's so great. Do I have any negatives? Uh, I mean, the version I watched was pretty mucky. Um, I don't know a good way to say it. I think it's, a cult, it's called a transfer when you take a film reel and put it to whatever format you want it to be, whether that's 
uh, streaming somewhere or DVD or VHS or Blu-ray or whatnot. And the one on Amazon I felt like was not particularly good quality. But that's not the film's fault. It's old. And I don't expect Amazon to get a really good transfer for something that they're giving out for free. Well, free with Prime, I think. So, free. So I'd be interested in watching it again on a Blu-ray copy and see if um, that's better quality-wise. Another thing that indicated I, how much I really liked it was I immediately went off to see if there was a Blu-ray or at least a DVD release of it because I was like, oh, I want this. I didn't buy it right away, but I now that I'm doing this review, I'm like, maybe I should just buy it right away because it was so good. I don't usually do that for things. Uh, if, if, it's, if it's like, yeah, that was fine. I don't do that. I can't describe how much I really, really enjoyed this. So, if you like dramas about acting, I don't know. You might like this. It's it's really good. There's I think there's a reason why there's two adaptations of it. Um, and I'm definitely going to be watching those two at some point as well. It'd be nice to do a comparison and... Uh, like a mini ranking. There's only three total, so I mean, it's not going to be a big tier list or anything like that. But I really want to do that because I really, I really, really enjoyed this. There was some good humor in it too. Ah, this is good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be rambling if I talk about any more about this. But let me know if you've seen this or any of the other adaptations um, or remakes or whatever of The Star Is Born. I'd like to know. Um, Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in another video. Bye!